Bro, isn't this the wood for your table? Yeah, I had it in here last night, but I had to take the trash this morning. As some of you may not know, but we don't have any trash pickup around here where we live. So we have to take our trash to the dump. So I put a tarp down, as you can see, so I didn't ruin the wood. And I came out this morning, there's freaking chicken bones and everything all over the wood and paw prints everywhere. solution though yeah i'm just gonna give this one to jamie oh yeah you got two of them yeah, you only need one, one right yeah because i told him what we'll do is you know i'm gonna take some wood from him for the top of this thing yeah so we're gonna do a wood for wood switch mm -hmm. you know and i'll just give him this one but we'll just bring it in with this down so you'll never see it okay we're in jamie's shop and we are building a table for my wife today. It's a dining room table. So just for her? It's just for her. This is her Christmas present. Oh, okay. I get so it. we are building a five by five table. So, so this is going to be our base for our table. We got some killer legs that I got on Amazon. I'll put a link on the, in the description to those bad boys. So we got legs, we got this, and then we are going to steal some wood from you. Okay. For the top. I don't have any. Well, we're going to find some. Oh, he's got wood. Oh, he's got it. The first part we got to figure out is what we're going to use for the apron. 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 Okay. So yeah. James got some cool ideas. <laughs> Not that kind of apron. Yeah. So James got some good ideas for the apron. Let's hear it. Okay. Okay. We'll actually let him speak on this channel. This is going to get painted. So we want to use a wood like maple here that has like a kind of a closed grain. Okay. All right. So like oak, for example, has like a really open grain, porous looking surface. It'd be really hard to paint this up and make it look just like smooth and slick. You would actually see all the little pores of the wood. So we're going to pick a closed grain type wood. Maple's great for that. Paints up amazing. And so the legs that we purchased are similar to the maple, so that's why I think we're gonna go with the maple to make it look yeah. similar in texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the legs and the apron. There's no telling where this wood came from, but it's all it's all smooth and there's no open pores, so. It came from the Amazon. It, I bet it did, dude, there's no telling. This is definitely uh, not North American wood. I just got that. <laughs> Amazon, oh, oh Amazon. The Amazon jungle, I get it. <laughs> This is the first piece of wood that Jane pulled out, and you can see it's got some swang to it and some whatever, but we're gonna cut it down into five foot sections, and then from there, I believe we're going to plane it and um, run it through the joiner and get it all flattened out nice and straight. Wow! Jane got, got, got some big wood. <laughs> uh, we'll get these cut down in size and get them what we need. So we started processing this wood, and the first step that we needed to do was rough cut them down to the lengths that we needed for the aprons. So Eagle Eye here, he uh, he looked down these boards and he was saying that he don't even think we need to join them. Not on the flat side, at least. Okay. If boards are really twisted, you need to flatten the face of it, the surface, and then you can send it through the planer. But these are pretty true, so I think boom, just plane. Okay, so we're gonna run it through the planer, flip it, run through the planer, just keep doing that until we get a surface that we are happy with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Next, we ran all the boards through the planer so that we could get a flat face on both sides. After that, we ran one edge of each board through the joiner so that we could have a flat edge before we ripped them on the table saw to the actual width that we wanted the aprons to be. Then we started to put the legs on so that we knew what length to actually cut the aprons at. So we got all of our aprons cut down four inches, looking awesome. So next thing that we need to determine is the legs. So I think we're just going to go with a two and a half inch from each edge. So we're just gonna measure in two and a half inches and we're going to use a square to mark out our bases. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these and shoot them down to here. And then we're gonna cut our aprons down to length, get them put in and we're gonna pocket screw our aprons into the legs. And then once it's all together, we'll flip it over and put some big screws through the top just to secure it. And I think it'll be perfect. I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. We started to attach the legs by gluing and shooting them down after we figured out exactly where we wanted each leg to be placed. And then after that, we started to take measurements for the aprons and cutting them to length and drilling the pocket hole screws for those. Hey, I think Jamie's back. Yo, yo, yo. Hey, hey. Hey, how's it looking? What have y'all been doing? What do you mean what we've been doing? We got the legs in, we got the aprons been cut. Gone 30 minutes and all you did was set these legs on the No, corner. man, we got all the aprons cut, we got all the pre-drills for the pocket screws, We're we got everything glue, laid out. We're about to glue and start shooting, baby. All I can say is I'm glad you work faster than this on the job. <laughs> 
All right, you can take your sweet this time. This is precision, bro. Take your sweet time on your own projects, but <laughs> dang, dude. Precision, bro. <laughs> um, now, this is not my table. Yeah. And I'm not like no like designer of furniture or anything, but I'm just wondering, like, the way that the legs are shaped, like, are they supposed to all be installed the same way? I don't want to kill somebody. Or, or is it, are you going for like this, wow, kind of like one way and then the other way kind of thing? You know, I, I asked, I asked them if they were the same. And now that I'm looking at they're them, the I way. actually see that they're not the same. I mean, <laughs> they're not. They're not the they're same. They're not the same. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Two are the same. Well, I mean, it just depends on where you're sitting. We just need to flip two up. I don't think you'll notice. I don't think anybody else would notice. I would just leave it. <laughs> oh my, and there's pin nails and everything in them. Oh I gotta go. I gotta, I'll come back in a little bit. <laughs> I, bro, I asked you. Yo, no, 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 no. They wouldn't say me. No, that is not how this went. Okay, so I just want people to understand something that this was not set up. Not one bit. We were about to screw all of this crap together, and thank God Jamie walked in because we would have had this whole face put together and it would have been wrong. I can just see your wife looking at it and say, hey, thanks. But, um... After fixing our mistake, we then started to add the apron pieces by attaching them to the plywood and the legs. And we also added some diagonal pieces in each corner and a cross member going through the middle for some added sturdability. She's looking sweet, boy. She is definitely sturdy, that's for sure. Oh yeah. <laughs> she ain't going anywhere. So we added a cross piece through the center. Jamie thought that'd be a good idea just to kind of alleviate any sway or any sag in the middle of the table. We also added these cross pieces in the corner. We pocket screw those down and use some uh, pocket screws as well to screw those in. Everything's glued, screwed, locked, and loaded, ready to go. So now I think what we're gonna do, we got to flip her over and do the top. Yeah, that's the hard part. Yeah, that's the hard part. <laughs> as if this wasn't hard enough already. <laughs> So now that we got all the structural parts of the table done, it was time to flip it over and then start designing the top. There she is. There she is. Next. Next. Lunch. Design. <laughs> Design. 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 Oh boy. So I'm thinking what the wife wants is she wants like a solid piece like that and a solid piece out to the ends like that. Okay. And then what we'll do, so that'll be one piece, and then all these pieces will go like so. What do you think, J-Mo? I think it's beautiful. I don't know why you would do uh, I, any wood. I know, I think she's good to go. Did think, you have that shirt on earlier? Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gotta get it any time he can. He needs any uh, air time he can get with that yeah. shirt. He's gotta wear it. <laughs> Yeah, with, with your drawing skills here, I think I'd forget the rest of the project. Can we just um, paint that on there? Pencil that on there, put some poly on it, you're good to go. Your wife's gonna be so happy. We began to process some more of the wood that Jamie had, but the only difference this time between how we did it with the aprons was that we ran each piece through the bandsaw because this was about an inch and a half thick and we needed much thinner pieces. Okay, we got all of our material um, planed down. So what we did is, we took um, some of that maple that we had and Jamie ran through the bandsaw, which you'll see in the time lapse there, and cut it in half. So we got twice the material. We got a nice flat side on the bottom, which would be on the table, but we kept the nice rough side looking up. So that way it gives it some texture and gives it some, uh, some look there, which I, which I think will be great. So now we're just gonna get our layout here that we need. Glue and nail these down. We got three quarter inch brads that we're gonna use. So we're just gonna glue. Boom, 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 nail it. And we're gonna leave all of these long also, as you'll see. And then we'll go back and just route it around the edge. And that way it's a clean cut and you don't have to worry about trying to make these, you know, end perfectly right, uh, right on your piece there, so. We started to plan out where all the pieces were gonna go, starting with the cross pieces. Once we got the cross pieces glued and shot on, we moved on to all the diagonal pieces. Jason did all the cutting and I did all the gluing and shooting. I am so excited on how this thing's looking. Yeah. Dude, I have like a get out of the doghouse free pass 
for a long time. Uh, we're not out of the woods yet. <laughs> we still got, still got a few more things we got to do. So, okay, let's so not get our hopes up. I'm just saying, <laughs> we don't have a good track record. <laughs> So as you can see, we left everything long and that's obviously on purpose. So we're gonna go back with a router and we're just gonna router on this and make it flush. Calling Jamie Perkins. Mobile. Dude, he's in his shop. I know. 100 feet away and he can't answer the phone? Well, it's not that he can't. Say he doesn't want to. All right, just call him so he can answer the phone. This is crap. Um, that's looking really good, guys. Thank I mean, you. I don't, I don't want you to be offended if I say I'm impressed. Is it okay to say that I'm impressed? You are. Yeah. I mean, um, I've never heard you say it before, but yeah, you can go ahead. Well, you did a great job. This people. Uh, and actually, instead of cutting it off, I would recommend you leave these because say you're sitting here having dinner, right? <laughs> Boom! You set your glass there. Life's good. Yeah. Now it's gonna be tricky though, cause you gotta trim around that, you know, and all all that. But I think Jason's payoff, got that. Yeah, it's gonna be worth it. But uh, no, seriously, it looks great. Uh, let's find you a router with a flush trim bit. Yeah. And I think you can just burr go all the way around. That's what I'm thinking. Just hold on tight. You got that, Jones? Hold on tight, buddy. I'm gonna hold on tight to this camera. Jones, he needs you to pressure wash that. The the trees? Yeah. Yeah, yeah the stump. The stump. See, see, my dad dug this out and. Uh, he actually cut all these with an axe. You know, that's a great story, but I got a table to build. Yeah, okay. yeah. Those are gonna be some killer cookies. Those go. Dude, you're not... I might need you all to... You know they call them cookies. Pizza metal right Where are you gonna put all those? I don't know. You don't need to figure that kind of stuff out. Sure. You need to figure that stuff out. <laughs> After we found Jamie's router in the shop, we decided to go ahead and first trim the edges with a circular saw, then follow it up with a flush cut bit on a router. We then added trim around all of the edges to hide the plywood and the ends of the slats. How's she look, baby? Looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. Looks good, man. Yeah, y'all tip top, top oh, work right here. We couldn't down without you and your tools, I'll tell you that much right now. You were a godsend with all these tools and stuff. So um, we are thinking, man, if you can just help us carry out to the car, uh, we'll get out of your way. Yeah, what about, um, I mean, you, you well, got all my stuff laying everywhere and you made a mess, so. I mean, we gotta run, man. I gotta get my dog here and I got basketball. Now it was time to transport this thing back to Jason's house so that he could put some finish on it. Oh yeah, there she is. Oh, easy now. You realize I can't get out now. It's not my problem. You can ride there, we'll strap you down. <laughs> Let me out, bro. <laughs> We didn't leave Jamie hanging. We decided to clean his shop before we left for the day. Well, it's Sunday and we're at my shop. Well, I'm at my shop. Um, Ray, I believe, is at home editing videos. And uh, we got the table inside the garage here. And my wife saw it, even though it's a Christmas present, she did come and see it and she freaking loves it. First thing Jason did was do a quick sand to the entire table. Then he followed that up with flipping it and then adding one coat of this white poly to the entire bottom. So one coat of poly down and just a couple more to go. I think it looks awesome. We're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna uh, put another coat on and then we're gonna scuff it a little bit to bring out a little distressed look there. Um, as you can see in the time lapse, my beautiful wife Stephanie was helping me paint and you're probably wondering why she's painting her own Christmas present. And the reason being is that like you guys, she also watches the videos, and so she knows how much I hate painting. So that's why she decided to help me paint, so. That's not what I said. What do you mean that's not what you said? What'd you say? I said I was helping you paint because you suck at painting. <laughs> that's 17 years of a marital bliss right there. She really does love me, guys, I swear, but. After another coat of the white poly, he then flipped the table and then added his first coat of clear poly to the top. Also, before each coat of poly, I'm going to hit it with this sandpaper uh, that I stole from Jamie's. It's just a sanding pad. It's a uh, Kling's Pour 120. So I'm just going to hit that real quick just to knock any uh, high spots or any nubbies down. And then I'll go ahead and do that in between each coat. I'm probably going to put 
two, three, four, maybe even five coats of poly on it. So um, I'm not gonna film every one, obviously, but I'm just gonna knock it down with this, put a coat of poly on it, and then uh, once we're done with all those coats, you'll see the final product. There she is. Five coats of poly on that wow. thing, dude. That looks good. I didn't know you guys were gonna be eating out here in the uh, in shop, though. <laughs> it's almost so heavy, I don't wanna move it. Like, Wait. ring for dinner and then go out to the garage and eat. Moving. We gotta move this? Yeah, that's why you're here, bub. I brought my muscle here to help me move that thing inside. We got the old one out, which sucked. Yeah. That was super heavy, but we got it out. Um, so this one will fit right through the front door, bro. We'll just put it right in there. Get some chairs on it and the good thing is that stuff's not gonna be home for a half hour so i can have it all set up for her when she comes home she's gonna be stoked nice and there it is the finished product the only question is will stephanie like it hey hey <laughs> it's a little bit of a mess but it's all good Excellent. It's a Christmas miracle, everybody. <laughs> hey, thanks for building a table with us today, and Merry Christmas.